Hi everybody, Trisha here with a note about how debinding and sintering your metal 3D printed parts is a lot like cooking. And when you're new to cooking, you use the recipe, you use recipes and follow the instructions exactly. Take macaroni and cheese, for example. That box of macaroni and cheese offers you specific instructions for turning what's inside the box into a delicious dinner. It might be for the kids, it might be for you. No one needs to know. Now your very first time making macaroni and cheese, you might measure out exactly six cups of water that it says to use for boiling the pasta. You're adding the exact amount of milk and butter at the end and your final product should look just like it does on the box. If it doesn't, you can go back through the steps that you took and make adjustments for next time. And that's where you start. Now, once you've done that a few times or a few dozen times, you start getting creative. Maybe you add a can of tuna at the end or some cut up hot dogs. Maybe you're eliminating the butter and adding some fancy cheese. The point is, once you know how to do it as instructed, then you start experimenting and applying your own ideas. Ultimately, you'll end up with something that suits your tastes even better than what they show on the box. And that's what we're going for here too. There are debinding and sintering processes listed on our website and they read very much like a recipe. You've got a list of items that you need, some assembly instructions, and then you do actually cook your parts using the indicated time and temperature heating profile. Now, once you get used to that, we expect and encourage you to experiment with adjustments to the process. If you have an idea that you think will make it better, try it. Add that fancy cheese. Metaphorically, of course, don't put cheese in your crucible. The awesome part of the open nature of this technology is that you can influence every part of the process to get just the part you want. Start with the process that we give you, the recipe that we lay out on our website, and you can stay right there or make your own process. And tell us about it if you find something that works great for you and you wanna share it. We could even interview you in a podcast if you'd like to show off your work. So follow the steps, get creative. Happy printing, everybody.